Well, we're still at Pirate's Cove. <laughs> and in today's video, under this beautiful full moon in Sagittarius, we're going to show you how to unlock a hydrolocked Yanmar engine. Hey everybody, Seth here um, with on board of Rhiannon um, today. So we've had a little bit of a adventure our last week, um, but basically the new dripless shaft seal, we went with a glide system that we actually tubed in and I put it on the exhaust and that should not have been where it was. So learn the hard way. Uh, right now the engine is hydrolocked. So I've already drained the oil, uh, took about two gallons almost, a gallon and a half out of water out of it. Then the rest of the oil, put fresh oil in, new filter. Kind of gonna get ready for some water slash diesel spewing. I am gonna be pulling these return lines off the top of the injectors, and then I'm gonna pull the injectors out. And then I'm gonna try to rotate the engine by hand uh, and see if it will spew out, start spewing out the water. I also have a little squirt bottle. I'm going to put some diesel fuel in the top of it and kind of pickle it just to get that water to suck up and spew it out first. So I've got this ready for when I get to that point. I'm going to try to lay it over it. That way it'll just spray into my bilge pad and not go everywhere. And this is a Yanmar 4JH3-TE, uh, the turbocharged 75 horsepower. Uh, we do now have our water tea in the correct from the intercooler all the way up here to our elbow and is now on the correct side so we put a new exhaust hose in as well uh, because that's what I had it on first uh, basically what was happening is this water coming in from the seal um, was actually just dumping water into the exhaust into the engine uh, sitting here uh, so we did try to crank it about probably four times um, and then we, uh, my wife actually hit it once this morning. We were getting ready to leave, heading to the Caribbean. Didn't sound right. She stopped smartly. And I came to check the dipstick on the engine, and it was almost coming out the tube. I'm like, wow, what's that? And it looked pretty normal. It had some bubbles in it, but it wasn't like, oh, it's milky. So, you know, which, so really didn't give me a butt. I got the extractor out. I started pumping, and it just was like sucked right out. I was like, wow, it's clear almost. So, Literally the first full, it's, it's a 2.3 gallon um, extractor, and I filled it full of water. Dumped that, then I started getting oil after that. Um, and so got all that sucked down, put some new oil in, new filter. Uh, I'm gonna try doing this, uh, see if we can start maybe uh, getting some water out of the cylinders. All right, so we're uh, 17 millimeter, taking off return lines. And I'm kind of being very careful. Uh, these Yanmar return lines are made out of aluminum, so uh, I'm trying to be very, very careful here, obviously, uh, to make sure nothing's twisting. Got the fuel rails clear, and just by moving those out of the way a little bit, I can tell you. That's water. So the next I'm going to have to do, uh, I believe, is these kind of little fuel rail uh, holders. I'm going to have to remove those. It's about like a 10 millimeter. Uh, so I'm going to pull those little harnesses here and here off um, to be able to get these. Because right now I can't pull them back too much out of the way. So now I'm uh, getting on top of here. Uh, where the wrench is on, there's kind of a plate, and there's the top of the injector. It's able to move them back enough, the fuel lines, return lines. So uh, I'm gonna pull these plates off and that should get it clearance so I can get down in there. So I'm gonna try to uh, grab that. Uh, just so you, I'm 99% sure it's water. Actually kind of smells like diesel, I mean, got 
Injectors out. Now, we are very there. So these are just some return lines in the way, but uh, got all the injectors out. There they all are over there. Uh, now what it is, is, I've got a 7 8 uh, they say 22, maybe 23 millimeters a good socket. What I have is a 7 8 and it worked and it fit. And so what I'll do, we're going to see if we can crank the motor. See how lucky we get. Okay, so that's a plus. Sounds good, it's rotating. Um, doesn't mean like water's out, anything like that, but. Okay, so those were definitely dry a second ago. Um, I haven't sprayed anything on these, so these two definitely had some water coming out. Uh, that, those are still pretty dry, so that's gotta come out. So what I wanna do now, uh, I've got a special little squirt bottle. I'm gonna squirt diesel in it and hope that helps the uh, water come to the top of the cylinders down there. So here is one thing I didn't think I'd ever use like this, but these little bottles like this, Lowe's garden department, saw it kind of eight foot up on a shelf and was like, I feel like I need one of those. Well, filled it full of diesel and it's working great. Go back to hand drinking the motor. All right, so I'm kind of curious what's going to go happen. So uh, I'm going to get on there because I'm going to be on the other side, cranking the hand cranking the engine. So I'm curious. We should start. Basically, that diesel's in there now. That should allow that water to come up. Uh, we're going to crank. It should be blowing some water out. Uh, if it goes too bad, I'm hoping it doesn't hit the camera. But I'm be feeling glad to do once just to get a shot of it. But then uh, I do have this. I'm going to lay over to keep going. I can see something happen. So, because it's over here on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It's a good sign though. That's separated something. We're gonna do this. Stop that from happening again. Some places you can find in the boat that are very comfortable. This isn't one of them. Oh. Wow, I've done about four rounds of basically diesel in the cylinder, turning, um, turning the motor over by hand, probably about a good five, six rotations. I'll kind of I'll have a liquid, we'll call it for now. It's sitting up around up here, so I've been basically cleaning off. I then go back and I dab it, I'm kind of smelling it, and I'm like, okay, so it's starting to smell more and more like diesel. I'm still getting, you know, what I can probably tell is water droplets beating up on this uh, um, towel here. And where it's laying, to me, it's definitely really mostly in my back, uh, in my back cylinder here. I don't know, I've, I did see some videos, a guy like actually had it off and he actually started cranking it with a starter and blowing uh, the water and stuff out. Then he put it all back together, ran it. I'm just kind of, kind of sitting here contemplating on to do that or not. I'm going to probably crank it one more time and I'm going to adjust this to go over this back cylinder, so clean area. I'll just be able to know and I'll smell it and see what we're getting like. But yeah, I mean, this stuff is it's definitely water because it doesn't have much of a smell. 
so okay um back to it great news but one more time hand cranked cleaned it up went up and um turned the starter turned it over for about a second twice it turned over great and shot a bunch of stuff out on the um this uh oil drain mat uh, i'm happy i'm gonna start uh reassembling now uh, we're gonna put it back together uh with all the diesel going everywhere over the top of the motor and uh you know it actually cleans up really nicely now so 3800 hour yanmar is uh, looking pretty new now so we learned this was a very huge mistake on our part you can easily bend push rods a piston rings can get damaged very very quickly if you have a hydrolocked engine and go to try to start the motor because uh, sometimes they might not have just enough that they would actually start or turn over a few times and that's when you're really going to do some damage because that water will not compress in there but luckily we caught it and everything was spinning freely there she is all back together injectors on or turn lines on fuel lines on Oh, there's a tart torque down. Give it a little prime. Alright, so uh, just gave it a little prime. Go in here. I did turn the fuel off earlier, so we might want to do it the other way around. Get y'all in the carpet. Alright, so uh, primed up. Uh, fuel's on. Oil's good now. No water. We're going to start it up. And go run up and start it. We'll see what it sounds like. Oh my gosh, she's alive. And we saved her. Water was spitting out the exhaust. A little bit of smoke, which that was understood. Uh, I was kind of actually expecting more. Hoping this is residual. A little bit of something going on on the top here. Um, hoping that's like residual. But she's no longer hydrolocked. I'm happy. It's time for bed because it's, yeah, 12.06. That's how you get your engine unhydrolocked. And again, that's a Yanmar 4J uh, H3. Uh, that's a TE model, but all the 4J Hs should be about the same. So take care. Again, click like, subscribe, follow us uh, on that boat band.